Put you straight in the esky. Come on, big buddy. Oh yes, two big babies. Big buddy. Absolutely sensational. It's big bad boy. Thunder. Hopefully we get it done before the rain comes, put the warning up I guess. Welcome back legends. Welcome to the unique waterways of the Northern Territory. Welcome to the Northern Territory. Come along with us guys on this week's vlog, Monster Muddy, Catch and Cook. Come along, experience the excitement of pulling the pot and sit back take in the tranquility of a beautiful sunset. Follow us on our journey today where we end up at the magnificent well-renowned Stokes Hill Wharf where we do the chili crab cook-up. Thanks for tuning in guys. You guys are most important to total carnage. Grab a cold drink, put your feet up, Watch how this unfolds. Thank you very much. Find the bait and find the barrels. See mullet starting to move. Oh, bloody hot, eh? Well, guys, water's dirty, wind's come up, fishing's bloody tough. I think what we'll do is we'll work our way back and we'll check those crab pots. Hopefully, we've got big buck or bucks. Yeah, this is gonna be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That, eh? Have a look at that big buck. Oh. Ginormous big. That's a monster buck, that one. Oi. Oi. Can't lose him. Oi. 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 Lost him. Don't talk yet. 
Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> uh. Put you straight in Esky. Oh, bait stinks. Rebate. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, how good was that? Oh, usually, this time of year is when the crabs start to come in. It's been a late wet season, they don't like fresh water, but they might be coming in now. Come on, crap. Come on. Pretty heavy. Come on. Come on, big muddy. Oh yes, two big babies. Yes. Woohoo, big bucks too. Have a look at that. <laughs> Woohoo. Be happy with that. Woohoo. <laughs> Put them straight in the esky. Oh. Let's we'll have a look at them in a minute. Come oh, on, master bait, crab bait. Just go back in the same spot. No mucking around. Oh, listen to that thunder. Oof. Should be in a good spot, this crab pot. Come on, big crab. Nope. Where's the biggest one? This one here, big bad boy. Is that the biggest one? Not sure. Oh, what are you having with that? <laughs> what a donkey of a crab. 
and full too. <laughs> oh. oh, Lee. One's pretty big too. Oh no, not as big as that one. Oh, this other one's bigger. Look at this one. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Come on up, mate. Whew, all about the same size, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Big muddy. Me the thumbnail. Whew. All right, guys. I've just thrown the anchor out. We're going to chill out. It's about quarter to five in the arvo, so we'll check. Incoming tide, we'll check those pots, about 7 o'clock. <laughs> Incoming tide is the best time for crab, so let's see how we go. Got a bit sunburned today. Oh, anyway. You hear that storm out there? You hear the thunder, eh? That's, um, that's over Darwin, that storm. Hopefully it stays over there. Things we do, eh? Best time for crabbing is night time. They're nocturnal, them fellas. So night time, incoming tide. So we get a couple of hours tonight and then we get low tide during the night and then we get high tide again tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock. So we get two cracks of it. So hopefully we get a few more. All right, put the canopy up. Oh, might as well just chill right out, I think. Oh yeah, that keeps the sun off me anyway. Whew. It's a tough life. <laughs> oh, I've just had a shower. How beautiful does that feel? Get the sunscreen off your face. Wash the sweat off, cool breeze. You don't get much better than that. A beautiful spot, eh? An hour and a half until the sun sets. We'll check those pots again. And just chill out. Steve Earl. Copperhead Road. Copyright. More. Salio message. Okie, Oaksa. We're going to check these pots before it's too dark. There we go. Bait's gone. Can't get him. We don't have any bait. Don't ask me.
<laughs> Have a look at this. Two more big bucks. Holy. <laughs> In you go, big boys. five you're allowed ten by yourself so I do believe that the crabs are in and we're probably going to get ten <laughs> oh, don't you love it so it's about this time of year when they come in I reckon it's a drought on land it'll be drought at ocean well it's the opposite to that Good times on land, heaps of green grass. Good times on the water. All right, anchors back out. Let's take a um, let's take a uh, I don't know of this beautiful sunset. <laughs> Oh, they dropped me phone. Come and check this out. Beautiful, eh? Absolutely sensational. A couple of hours ago, I was... I was wanting to wuss it. <laughs> Bit of a tough arvo. But now it's all worth it, you know? Beautiful. Tomorrow's another day. See the mullet moving around. All right, guys, that's it. Going to bed. See us in the morning. No crab pots in that pool. No crabs in that pool. <laughs> oh well. See, tomorrow's another day. All right. See us then. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> hey, yeah, guys. That's bloody awesome, Rob. Really appreciate it, mate. Tell you what, when the dry season comes, we're doing campfires. This one will come really in handy.
Right guys, just like that, I've washed the boat up and um, it's a couple of hours later, I'm still wet, but I'm, we're going to do this cook up and I've been thinking about doing this for a while, we're going to do it at Stokes Hill Wharf, so what a beautiful spot eh, to do a, um, a sweet chilli crab cook up, the Darwin City up there, you've got the rec centre there, Stokes Hill Wharf so um, half past two in the afternoon hopefully um, <laughs> hopefully we go alright so yeah I reckon it's a bloody beautiful oh Garney try not to make attention <laughs> Don't draw attention to yourself. These bad boys. They're full too. Come to Darwin, you can ride a double decker bus. Look, <laughs> get that heating up. What else we need? A bit of oil. Coconut milk, a bit of rice, some Thai red curry paste, a bit of honey. I don't know, we'll see how that goes anyway. Get a bit of oil in here. Curry paste. I'll get a bit of bite to it and I'll muck around. Boat cruising past, the boys have been out. Any rubbish goes in the sand hema. Rubbish bag. Oh no, a little bit of fish sauce. Not too much. Bear with me guys, oh, buddy. Just a bit of a stir up. Oh no, cut these crabs up.
big prize's knife. This big bad boy. Ho ho! Work boat going past, look. Another big work boat over there. East Arm Wharf. But yeah guys, I don't um, profess to be a cook, I don't profess to be a fisherman, I don't profess to be anything, but I reckon this will taste alright, I'll lay you hungry too. Oh, thunder. Hopefully we get it done before the rain comes, put the warning up I guess. There for a minute. Just cut this last one up. bit of coconut milk, we'll throw that in. Give it a bit of a stir up. Bring it to the boil I think, eh? Let that come to the boil. these two going. Here we go. Oh, it smells good. Oh, don't forget the honey. Bit of this one. myself <laughs> yeah she's a beautiful spot so I worked for a bit over 10 years there or 11 years there there's another company down around the corner I was very fortunate enough to do 11 years down there as well so I spent the last over 20 years well, this is my uh, workplace you know overlooking Beautiful. <laughs> Would have been good if I bought a spoon. Let me have a look in here, see if I bought one. Oh, I did too, look. Just um, make sure that this juice gets gets all down through everywhere. Right, get the lid back on.
Oh, it just looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, if you could just smell that. <laughs> Beautiful. Take those out and we'll put some more in. Let them cool down there a bit. I'm hungry too. Starving. juice on that rice Right guys, <laughs> if you watch us this far, if you like, commented, if you like, commented, shared, and subscribe, you guys legends. Thank you very much. How was that? That's awesome. Cheers, legends. If you're new to the channel and you want to buy a total carnage shirt, cap, awesome lures www.andytotalcarnage.com Cheers legends Thank <laughs> you.